forecast things are looking really active at the moment in the tropics both in the Atlantic and the Pacific this is Typhoon Noru it's now in the South China Sea it's already moved across the Philippines with devastating flooding and really damaging winds it is now very shortly heading towards the coast of Vietnam where it's going to bring a very large storm surge inundation around the coast and winds over 100 miles per hour there and of course it's not the only major storm in the world at the moment this is Hurricane Ian which is a major category 3 hurricane it's just made landfall over the the past few hours in western Cuba bringing some winds up to about 125 miles per hour it's heading its way north after that across the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico so Florida is bracing for landfall on Thursday it's going to bring a storm surge of up to 10 feet around the Tampa Bay region half a meter of rainfall and winds around 120 miles per hour. So some really dangerous conditions with both of those storms will keep you up to date with their progress. But back here, closer to home, it's a typically autumnal day across the UK. Today, we've got lots of rainbows around because we've got that mix of sunny spells and blustery showers that's going to stay with us for the rest of the day today. So low pressure sitting out towards the east at the moment and that's driving in some showers for parts of eastern Scotland heading south into eastern England and this weather front here also bringing some rain towards the southwest. So for the likes of Cornwall down towards the Channel Islands later some more prolonged spells of rain but elsewhere sunny intervals and a peppering of fairly heavy showers. Still gusty winds around 30 to 40 miles per hour but not as windy as it's been over the past 24 hours or so. So the wind's easing a little. Temperatures between about 11 to 16 degrees but still feeling cool where you are are exposed to that brisk northwesterly wind. For most of us, the showers ease overnight, but they will continue around some coastal areas, fed in on that northerly breeze. Quite a chilly night ahead, temperatures down to about three to eight degrees. Could be just a touch of frost in some rural areas towards the north, but probably frost free for most of us to start off your Wednesday morning. Now through the day tomorrow, then we've still got low pressure close to the east of the UK. So another day of sunshine and showers, but fewer showers compared to yesterday and today. The wind's a little bit lighter as well. We will see some more persistent rain for parts of eastern Scotland and northeast England later in the day, perhaps the odd rumble of thunder, but temperatures 12 to 16 degrees, so it'll feel a little bit warmer with those lighter winds and more sunshine around. And then into Thursday, again, a reasonably quiet day, still a few showers filtering their way south on that breeze. But we're looking at a bit, a bit of a quieter day, more sunshine, a touch warmer by Thursday. Do be prepared for some heavy rain into Friday, though, Rita.